But if you don't have any discipline, or your discipline is weak, you'll always be relying exclusively on having enough motivation. Now, motivation is a good thing. It's always less draining to do something when you're excited and passionate about doing it. But as we discussed, because motivation is based on your emotional state, and humans emotionally are four times more sensitive to the negative than to the positive, your motivation will very often come up short of fully carrying you to your goals. And whereas the point Stephen was making about reducing friction to raise your residual motivation is valid and an important thing to keep in mind, but a lot of tasks in life just suck, and you won't be able to ameliorate how much they suck to the point that you're actually motivated to do them. So you'll always need discipline to cover that gap, or a lot of important but unpleasant things just won't get done. So if motivation will often come up short and we need discipline to cover that gap, the question becomes, how do we develop discipline? 